Across California, it's a common sight. Rows of suburban homes topped with solar panels. But as the state works towards its ambitious clean energy vision, an almost counterintuitive problem has emerged. California is at times generating too much solar, meaning loads of good clean energy is going to waste. Since solar power relies on the sun, it's often the middle of the day on days when it's not too hot that you can run into this issue of essentially having too much solar. People aren't home, they're not running their ACs, and the system can generate more than the state can use. This imbalance has been dubbed the duck curve. It's belly, the time of day when solar production can exceed demand. So that's the deck curve? That's the deck curve. Yeah, there it is. Inside California's independent grid operator, CEO Elliot Mainzer showed us how they manage the state's electricity in real time. There is solar energy right now that's essentially being thrown away. You know, the bottom line is that there are times when we do not have the demand for electricity for the full production of the solar fleet. Sometimes we're able to export it, and there are those times under certain extreme conditions when we do have to curtail it. When you say curtail, you mean throwing it away? We say uh, sending dispatch instructions to those fleets to, to reduce their generation, yes. In recent years, the amount of renewable energy curtailed, most of its solar, has skyrocketed, both from oversupply and so-called congestion, when there's more electricity than the transmission lines in some areas can handle. So far this year, the state has already lost out on nearly 2.6 million megawatt hours of renewable electricity, more than enough to power all the households in San Francisco for a year. To solve the problem, Governor Gavin Newsom's administration has been pushing to add more batteries to store that excess energy. And state regulators have taken a more controversial approach, drastically cutting financial incentives for homeowners looking to install solar. Before, we used to have people clamoring to put solar on. Ed Murray, who operates Aztec Solar outside Sacramento, says the impact has been devastating for his business. He's laid off 10 employees over the last year. We were left figuring out, how, what do we do now? Since the changes, there's been a 66% drop in residential solar installations and an estimated 17,000 green jobs lost statewide. To make it cost effective, homeowners now need to install batteries in addition to solar panels. But that can cost an additional ten dollars to $20,000 or more. In a statement, Governor Newsom defended the state's policies, saying in part, no other state in America comes close to California's solar production. And now we're adding more batteries faster than ever to help capture that energy to use at night. Do you think California will be able to meet its 2045 clean energy goal? Absolutely not. No way we're going to get there without rooftop solar. New challenges casting a shadow on the path to a renewable future. Liz Kreutz, NBC News, Folsom, California. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.